Do you need to go to the clubhouse? Um, is there a cart now out there? Uh, Are we allowed to drink beers on this? Fuck yeah. And smoke cigars. All right. Somebody gave me a Cuban Cohiba at yeah. the... You ever had one of those? No, I honestly, I love smoking cigars, but as far as my, uh, knowledge and understanding of that, I don't know what to about it. That's, okay, you and I are in the same. I did have that, uh, give me a couple of that one, uh, I don't, see, I don't remember what it's called. The one you were talking about, I think it was the shorter one. Uh-huh. Was it like, uh. Was it from Deadwood? Or was it half coffee, half, half tobacco? Half coffee, that one, that one. <laughs> That's That cool. was good. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, a guy gave me a. Cuban at the member guest, and I'm like, I just, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do, and I freaking took one draw on it, and I'm like, oh, yeah. that's why these things are special. So, apparently, YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. So, I type your name into YouTube, and your pro day comes up. Oh, yeah. And I have no idea what any of those things were, except I know how heavy 225 is, but dude, your vertical jump on that thing was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, um, 39. Honestly, something? that's kind of what put me on the map was that pro day. Uh, oh, it was. Well, I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't say put me on the map, but um, so I had a. I guess if this, according to scouts, probably a better junior year. Okay. Um, so I got some note. I got noticed a little bit then, and then uh, senior year they thought it was subpar, I guess. And so I didn't get invited to the combine. Um, played in like an all-star game. Uh -huh. Did pretty well there. Um, but that was like my one opportunity to test. Obviously, not being able to go to the combine. So um, I trained out in Florida at Tom Shaw Performance. Uh, probably just, you know, I just got in the best shape of my life and then uh, I had a really good pro day and then it just kind of picked up from there. But Did you play hoops in high school? Yeah. Yeah, my dad was actually the, um, my high school coach. Oh, really? Basketball. Yeah. That's what I, my, honestly, basketball was my, kind of my first passion when I was little. Not until high school where I started to really focus on football, but. Huh. Oh no. Oh no. Not, don't no, hit the no. car. leave <laughs> <laughs> that new cap that's skull fucked i'm gonna give you one of those yeah. <laughs> oh my god i almost jacked that car yeah that was uh that was close that would have been uh would have been some good footage <laughs> uh, were you born and raised in buffalo or did you move there uh i mean i claim it but i was technically born in newcastle wyoming oh yeah i've been there maybe yet year or two. Oh, okay. Dad was a teacher, coach. Both my parents grew up in Buffalo, so I think when the opportunity was oh, uh, available, they moved back. When you went to, from Buffalo to Laramie, what, was it uh, eye-opening how much faster and stronger stuff was at the college level? Yeah. Um, Football-wise, for me personally, coming from a small Wyoming school, I would say that transition from high school to college was tougher than college to professional. Was it really? Just football-wise, as far as um, I think probably the biggest part was just the playbook and knowledge. I mean, high school we literally had two coverages and you know, yeah. And know what cover four and cover two and all this stuff was. It was just, uh, in, for me, like going professional, I think that was one thing I was prepared for. Just the whole, that whole part of it. So you're somewhat prepared for it. Uh huh. It is a thing. Obviously, it's real, but. But it was more dramatic from. I think so, just because mostly just the knowledge part of the game. Yeah. Knowing coverages and reads, and so that was probably to me more uh, a bigger learning curve. The NFL side was just the business side is what you can't really prepare for. You know what huh. I mean? Yeah. You know it's going to be faster. Guys are going to be bigger. Collisions are going to be harder. 
it's kind of just the business side that's kind of was eye-opening i guess yeah was it with with the business side uh of football did it make it less fun 100 percent. did it yeah i wouldn't say my i mean the best time i ever had playing football was high school and college is fun but there's great experiences in the nfl um Oh, great swing. Oh, what a golf shot, dude. Did you meet your wife at UW? Mm hmm Yeah. She, I met her, she was, uh, my senior year. I met her there, and then she oh. had a couple years. Left. Is she younger than you? Yeah. She's a few years younger than me. Um, so she finished up school for a couple years and then uh, moved out to Jacksonville. Somebody told me, I think it was my cousin from Wyoming, she was the runner up in the Miss America? Yeah, she uh, technically third runner up, so I guess oh. third, fourth place, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, she's pretty talented. Jeez. She, uh, how did I meet my agent? Yeah. Um, well, kind of, I was talking, after my junior year, some agents started to reach out. Like, how does that, how does that work? Like, you just get a phone call from a guy? Yeah, or? I honestly, I don't know how they get contact information. I don't really don't know. But yeah, they'll start calling, and um, at the time, so that's my junior year, I was, I just wanted to focus on football and graduating. So I would kind of um, put my parents on it, or they could meet with some, and they could get a feeling, and then obviously eventually I'd meet some after my senior year. Uh, so I had met with a few, and flew out to New York, and then this guy from up in Seattle had to contact me, uh, and I honestly wasn't even going to meet with them. I don't know why, I just was like kind of over it. And he he offered to fly in, fly well flew into Billings and drove up to Buffalo, which was the only person that actually came to the only agent that actually came to the house. Oh really? Yeah. Um, the other ones we kind of went out to them, um, but it, just a real down to earth guy and fit more of my personality. Huh. A lot of those guys wine and dine and you know they talk a lot and all that, but he just. Um, like I said, fit my personality and down to earth. So I ended up going with him and then he, um, he's the one, so they, agents, their job, initially they kind of make, put their investment in you through all the training. So they're paying for all your training and leading up to the draft, you know, obviously hoping that you get drafted and then yeah. it works in their favor. So he, he's the one that, um, took me out to Florida and I t trained with Tom Shaw out there for three months, which huh. is probably the best move that I've ever made. I've been a member here for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And when I've had a tea time, I could count on less than one hand how many people have asked me, hey, are you full? Can we join you? And then I set that tea time up with you. Oh, and I know. like five people are like, hey, are you full? And I'm like, Brzezinski's yeah. a fucking superstar. No, I, I don't ever have that either, honestly. <laughs> I was just like, well, this is what it's like being Chris. No. People just want to play with you all I, the time. I usually don't. I played, uh, I don't even know. How far do you think those carts are? They're mm. a cart. On that line, you could hit it 200 and some change, I think. Well, I might as well just try something. It's not like I'm playing for a career round or something. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> I kind of lost it because it cut that tree. You couldn't... When we get up there, 
you're gonna like you couldn't have put it in a better spot. <laughs> Every once in a while. Um, How did you end up going to work for Pete? Uh, so I, well, my wife and Janessa, you know Janessa, yeah. our office manager, she, uh, they actually played a year together at Sheridan College volleyball. Oh. Yeah, and so when we were in Chicago, um, Janessa and Pete were coming out for a conference. Janessa got a hold of Lexi, and we all went to dinner. And then Pete had approached me about joining around then, obviously when I was done. Um, just because I had a business background in finance and accounting and stuff, but um, took those courses. But at the time, I didn't really know yeah. if that's what I wanted to do, the investment side. Um, but then as I started... I kind of knew things were coming to an end and I was we wanted to get back here um, and there was actually a few different outfits it's funny that there's probably three different outfits that have approached me about a job once I was done and they're all investment advisors really which was I don't know if it's coincidence or what and then I just did my research talked to a few of them just because I wanted to kind of know like the industry and career yeah, yeah. And were they all from here or just from all uh, two out of the three here yeah really but then uh, I just kind of hung out. spent some time in the office got to know everybody just a good fit so when you watch a, when you watch a uh, like a NFL game now what would be your like I mean you see it probably from a completely different level than like the average fan does right um, probably to a degree, yeah, uh, but not totally. It's hard to watch it from like an X's and O's with like a TV version. Oh, it is? Just because you don't see everything. Oh. But I do notice a lot, especially as a DB, right. that there's always, if somebody scores a touchdown, it's always, fans are always, especially as a safety, you're the last line of defense. That's who safeties, corners, it's typically like, what is he doing kind of deal. Oh. But I was like, but if they really knew, like, this linebacker was supposed to fit there or push to this or whatever it might be, it wasn't really on them. They're just the last ones chasing the dude, so it looks like they got beat for a touchdown. Right. So like stuff a, like that. Like a goalie and you never, in soccer. And people are always like, yeah, the, even analysts, I've noticed a lot, they're like, he got beat here. And obviously, if it's one on one coverage, you can tell. But there's so many times where you're just working together with corners and linebackers that you don't really know unless you know what coverage they're playing and what whose man that was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or just do it. Have you watched that new? Uh, well, if you haven't, Netflix that quarterback I, series. I'm in it right now. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's cool though. I don't know how deep you are in it, but um, the part where they just start talking and obviously quarterbacks like another level with the depth of everything they have to know but the play calls and all the reads that they have to make and i don't think people really understand how much goes into it no in fact i was just telling somebody the other day because we were talking about the series i was like yeah um i had people tell like ask me while i was playing like they're asking where i live like during the season during the week because they thought just live wherever and then just fly in for the games and just show up and play on Sundays. <laughs> it's full time. No. Oh, that's uh, solar panels. Not that again. <laughs> I don't think it made it. It's in the, yeah, no, it didn't. It's, uh. I was so worried about the water. <laughs> Truck up there. Yeah, uh, wouldn't have that been something if you? Uh, it would have been harder to tease Ryan about that if. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> the other thing, a lot of people, you actually are taxed in every state that you play. So if you go to New York or California, you're taxed for that for game? that game in that state. Yeah. So do they break it down like what you make per game? Yeah. So like a lot of CPAs. It's a lot of work for them. Yeah. More than normal. Um, 
Huh. But, but then, cool. so taxes is the biggest thing, and then your agent fee, which is typically 3%. Mm. Um, and then you have some like union dues and oh, that right. kind of stuff. So you, there's actually, I think there's actually, I remember somewhere, so there's actually more agents than players. Because anybody can go get their agent or whatever license, I guess. But any good agent's going to have their lot. Right? Well, were the facilities in the NFL, like the team facilities, locker rooms and all that stuff, were they just ridiculously... Nice. I mean, they're nice, but it's funny because I see so many college oh. facilities that I think, even when I went down to Laramie and their new facility uh, that they did a few years ago, yeah, I would say this is as nice or nicer than really a few that I was in. Wow. Yeah. First one was where were you on 9 11? 9-11, I was, uh, what grade was I in? Um, I was in fifth or sixth grade. Mm. Uh, so, I remember I had just showed up to school. I didn't really know, honestly, I don't probably, I didn't even heard Twin Towers at the time, but um, everybody's talking about in the hall. We went in the first class. Um, our class with Mr. Keffer, Melvin Keffer, and we didn't do any, obviously any, yeah, no school work, school or curriculum base, we just talked about it, and then turned on the news, but yeah, it's like everybody, it's how you one of those, I yeah. remember exactly, clear as day, yeah, it was my first day, you couldn't tell me, I couldn't tell you anything about that whole year, but that day, <laughs> I know. All right, here's here's the last question for you. If there was going to be a movie made about your life, oh, yeah. who would play you? <laughs> or who would you want to play you? And what Options. would and what would they have to do? And what is it in the movie that you'd make sure they'd want to get right if it was like your life story? Oh, that part I can answer. Um, they'd, they'd have to represent a kid from a small town. Just made most of the opportunities, probably. Yeah. Um, just always worked hard and kind of kept his head down. So um, if you if you were on set, that's the part that you like make a just re like humble beginnings, you, got it you know. Right. I it had nothing special. I just yeah. That's what I always tell people. Like even during my time in the league, it was like playing seven years. It's something I'm proud of, but I saw so many guys come in, rookies, and I was like, this guy's talented, and they were all competition. But um, I just, the one thing I knew how to do without work on and a lot of that just came to like specialty. I mean, I'm a coach's kid, so I think one of the best parts of my favor, I just always knew what coaches wanted, and uh, I knew my role, and I would play my role, and I wouldn't bitch about it, and I would just work hard, and there's obviously some skill to that, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of those things are, you don't have to be athletic or be able to run fast or jump high, right? a lot of that you can just do, anybody can do that, Yeah, that's what a lot of people don't realize. Hard work doesn't take talent, it takes heart. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Is this you? Yeah. Appreciate it, man. That was fun. Yeah. We should go we'll, play again. Yeah, we'll do it again.